www.in3months.com. Benny, tell us a little bit about this interesting website you have. Uh, basically, I started a blog a year and a half ago. Didn't intend to monetize, it was just to document my travels. I had already been traveling for like six or seven years, uh, learning languages. Now, when I was 21, only spoke English and uh, moved to Spain, and I kind of figured out a good way to learn the language, which uh, it's not using any crazy techniques, it's just talking to people. So that's what I talk about in the blog. I encourage people, and the message has been so, uh, so well spread. There's not so many people blogging about the social aspect of languages. So I've actually got 80,000 uniques a month now, after just a year and a half blogging. Um, most of my traffic is social. I don't do any SEO work. Um, I mean, I check into Market Samurai once every two months. That's that's it, you know. Uh, but I still get so many Facebook shares. My sales page has gotten like 900 Facebook shares. Um, so it's all social, uh, and I'm actually here uh, to find affiliates because I make a living entirely off one product that I made uh, just about a year ago. I want to dispel like my long-term mission is to convince the world there's no such thing. As, a, as language talent in terms of discouraging you from trying. Maybe some people might be a little bit better, but that's no reason to not try. Now, when you say you're one product, are you referring to your website or a product that you're actually selling to fund your travels? A, a product that I'm actually selling, because I don't have any advertising. Okay. Uh, I just have one, um, and I talked to a, a couple of other A-list bloggers who gave me some good advice. It's one. A file, a zip file of 280 files within that, that is my book that I've written that has been translated by natives to 21 languages. Uh, and I got it all done by, uh, for free using my email list and professional translators. Um, so I just I have a little, you know, click here to buy my. Actually, it's not, not even click here to buy because I got an interesting thing that works very well in the sales page where. <laughs> Sales page, I say, click here to watch a video in eight languages. And the video starts with me kind of, you know, saying, you know, when I was younger, I did really bad languages in school, and I, you know, I'm, I'm crap at languages and all this. And I have to, you have to read the rest of the whole thing with subtitles. And I kind of flick between the different languages. So the video has been very effective. And it, like, just with one product, and just one blog that I've started myself, I don't have anyone helping me, I'm making a full-time living from it. Because you have to remember, with WordPress, it's so easy. So I, I, have, a, I have a kind of technical background, background engineering, which is why like languages wasn't something I was into. But, um, you know, we did a tiny bit of like C++ programming uh, back in college, but that, that's about it. I've done no programming. It's just adding a couple of maybe uh, useful plugins, uh, I, most of the reason I get traffic is just from being social. So I meet up with other bloggers. Uh, I met up with, uh, for example, I went to Blog World last year and uh, I invited uh, Leo Babauta, who uh, writes Zen Habits. I invited him out for a, a vegan burger. And Zen Habits is a huge blog. And we were talking a while, just hanging out, and then, um, you know, he said, hey, if you want, you can guest post for, for me. I guest posted, and that sent me so much traffic. I still get decent traffic from Google. Interestingly enough, from things I haven't actually, um, I haven't optimized for search engines, I still do really, really well. Like, review of Pimsleur and review of... Uh, like Live Mocha, which is a big la language learning site. I, I think I'm, per I'm on page one of Google for that, and I, I, don't, I didn't try. So based on what you've, you've been through, and, and it sounds like a lot of it has been luck, but a lot of it is just that you write great content from your heart and about your experiences, what advice would you give to companies that you think they could apply um, to find some of the same success? Okay, well, we have a saying in Ireland, that um, you just said it was from luck. We say every man makes his own luck. So the thing that I, I, I've actually, in the last, I've only been doing it a year and a half, but I've made so many mistakes and I'm very glad of it. So I would recommend companies to stop being so prudent that they're not trying out so many things. Like I, uh, I'll try different blogging topics. I, I'll try uh, you know arguing with other people in forums whatever silly things good ideas bad ideas I'll try I have tried everything 
and because of that, a small amount of it is actually going to work very well. So I would recommend companies to just experiment, um, to not try and, and go with a, uh, a particular guideline. Like I do lots of things that a lot of people wouldn't do. As a blogger, usually people would use stock images. And I'd, I've done something which you wouldn't expect so much, but in every blog post, I have a picture of me posing to do whatever I'm supposed to be doing. So it's not just po it's not just posing like this, like I'm great, but actually posing to represent the topic of the post. The same way a stock image would be posing, for, and no one else does that. And because of that, like people associate me, my face, my personality with the blog. And after just less than a year blogging, I was recognized in the streets six times when I was in Berlin, for example. Very, cool. Very inspirational. Thank you so much for your time, Benny. We wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, and maybe we'll see you in another country or something. All right. Thanks so much. We're at PubCon Austin 2011. I'm Vanessa Zamora. This is Benny Lewis. Take care. <laughs>